Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make UK Garage in the style of main phase, inspired by his tracks, All the Girls, Decadence, Boasting in the Rave, and All Right Then. The project file, samples, and presets are available for a small contribution in the description. And since I've used Raz Kitchen's vocals again, these are linked for free below. I've also used a couple of free third party plugins, including the Rave Generator for some of the vocal one shots and these are also linked. If you learn something from this video, drop a like and consider subscribing if you're new to my channel. You can also suggest artists, labels or topics for me to cover in future in the comments. I didn't think too much about keys or scales when making this project, but the bass line is kind of in F harmonic minor. Our BPM is 134. First, we have the drums group. Starting with the kick. The kick lacks sub frequencies and this is because the basses are providing the sub in this project. Main phase usually has his subs louder than his kicks so I followed this approach here. Next we have the snares. Snare 2 has been placed on triplet note divisions and we'll see this triplet feel implemented throughout the project with this helping to create a two-steppy vibe. These are in a drum rack and a choke group together. Then we have the high perks. Starting with the hats. More triplet rhythms for the closed hat here. And again, a drum rack and choke group setup. The shaker is next. Finally, there's the tambourine from the Think Break. And I quantize this to triplets before using it in this project, as well as tightening it. I've applied this two-step shuffle to everything in the drums group. And on the group, there's EQ and parallel compression. I've also applied reverb via Sende. I did a fair amount of experimenting with other small room reverbs for this project, but something about the empty clubs, reverbs, bright reflections makes it suitable for this kind of UKG. My theory with this is that because club walls are hard surfaces and therefore create bright reflections, brighter reverbs seem to be more appropriate for club music. And of course they should be shorter as well. Next we have the basses. Starting with the wob. In Massive, we have a square wave taken down by two octaves and a low pass filter with high resonance and its cutoff being modulated by envelope one. There's some distortion as well. Next, we have the warper. This is similar to the last patch, with the only differences being the shape of envelope one and the modulation amount for the filters cutoff. Finally, we have the wobbler. In Serum, we have a square wave taken down by two octaves. There's a low pass filter with its cutoff being modulated bi-directionally by LFO2. This bass is inspired by Ghosting in the Rave and if I change the rate to 1 over 8 then you can hear this more clearly. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
As you may have recognized, there's pitch modulation. We can see this in the matrix. If we look at LFO1, you can see it's turned to off. And this is so it doesn't trigger when a new note is played, meaning the pitch drop continues into each new note. On the channel, there's EQ to decrease the volume of the sub. And on the group, there's EQ, parallel compression, and reverb via A. Next, we have the effects. So we have these one shot samples, the noise effects, dub siren, and laser. These all have echoes applied. With the dub siren having some redux as well. So these echoes have high feedback and triplet rates. Then we have the riser made in Serum. Here we have this HP chorus noise, which is running into a band 24 filter with its cutoff modulated by LFO1. In the effects, there's distortion and EQ. There's an auto pan modulating volume on the channel and echo. On the group, there's drum bus, EQ, and utility monitoring frequencies below 500 Hertz and reverb via A. Next, we have the melodic group. Starting with the organ. I've used triplet notes for the organ, for some of the notes at least, and this is inspired by all the girls. In Serum, I have a sine wave taken down by two octaves in oscillator A, and for oscillator B, there's a square wave taken up by seven semitones. The noise oscillator is playing this microcorg noise with its level modulated by LFO1. All the sound generators, apart from the noise, are running into this low pass filter with its cutoff modulated by envelope two. In the effects, there's distortion, reverb, and EQ. Normally, I wouldn't add reverb in Serum, but in this case, it brings the organ to life. I was inspired by another YouTuber's tutorial here, so I'll link this in the description. I've added utility on the channel to increase the volume. Next, we have the piano. This is an E minor nine chord, but it's the same chord played over two or three octaves. I've taken the notes off the grid to humanize them and I've altered their velocities. I've tweaked electrics default preset here to get the sound I wanted and I've added drum bus. Next we have the dub chord. Here I am using an F minor nine chord again over a few octaves and taken off the grid. However, in Massive, I'm using the color waveform, which I'm pretty sure is already a chord. So I'm not sure what this chord would actually be. So in Massive, there's a low pass filter with its cutoff modulated by envelope one with resonance on the filter. and distortion in the effects. On the channel, there's an EQ. 
I've applied the two-step groove to all three of the MIDI clips for these melodic elements, just to add even more of a sense of triplet swing. You may have also noticed how there's no delay or echo on any of these elements, and this means that they contrast with the wetter effects and vocals. Next, we have the transition effect. And this is inspired by Decadence, although I've gone for a more granular, time-stretched, jungly feel. There's a filter sweeping frequencies around via the built-in LFO, auto pan modulating volume, and an echo. Finally, we have the strings. This is from Labs, which is free. It's a preset from the Synth Strings library called Classic Strings. Like the previous sound, there's a sweeping auto filter and auto pan for volume modulation. The transition effects and strings are layered. On the group, there's EQ, drum bus, chorus, and here I'm using this free Tau Chorus plugin since I saw it used in another video and like the sound of it. Utility monoing the bass below 500 hertz, and reverb via A. Finally, we have the vocals. The first two are Raz Kitchen samples, with the first being time stretched using the texture algorithm. This is what creates its jungly vibe. The final two vocals are from the Rave Generator VST, which is free and I'll link in the description. All of these vocals have echoes applied, except for the woo. And on the group there's drum bus, EQ, and reverb via A. And that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh